And we start with breaking news this hour. A number of procedures have been cancelled or redirected to other NHS providers following a cyber attack on some of London's major hospitals. The incident is said to be having a major impact on the delivery of services with blood transfusions particularly affected. Sky Science and Technology editor Tom Clark has more details on the story. Uh, uh, Tom, sketchy details really about, about what has happened, what are the facts? Well, yeah, we're just waiting for some more details from the hospitals concerned about how many patients are affected, what the impact's been uh, for care in those hospitals. But this does affect a number of large London hospitals. The guys in St Thomas's NHS Trust uh, and King's College Hospital and the associated hospitals that, that work under those trusts are affected. And the what they're describing as a critical IT incident has affected um, Synovis. They're a company that provides pathology services to those hospitals. Pathology, that would be any test that you have done uh, as part of a procedure at hospital or during an operation. Um, but one of the critical things that um, pathology services would do, for example, is match blood types to a patient uh, who's undergoing treatment. As we understand it, it is blood transfusion services that have been most critically affected by this incident. So non-essential transfusions have been paused um, uh, when the incident emerged last night. Uh, and anyone needing emergency transfusions, they're having to proceed you know, with uh, pen and paper, as, as, as I understand it. Um, and obviously, um, that will slow down the matching of blood and things like that, but they'll be doing everything they can to ensure that um, only sort of universal donor type blood gets given to people while this incident continues. Um, while we you know, wait for more details about exactly what's happened, it is being reported this is a cyber attack. Um, that's obviously very interesting because they, it exposes the vulnerabilities of all business operations at the moment as uh, increasingly uh, move online, but does raise the question of these sort of care critical um, uh, systems within healthcare are vulnerable to these sorts of attacks uh, as well. And there have been a number of attacks of NHS institutions in recent years, sometimes by um, hacktivist groups of uh, international origin. It's, it's, it's um, often using quite crude methods. Something called a denial of service attack is quite a common one where you just bombard a website with traffic requests to slow it down. We don't know if that's um, the case here. It's only being reported as a, as, a, as a cyber attack. We're waiting for more incidents. The hospitals themselves, from what little we know, are calling it a, a, a just a critical IT incident. So we're waiting for more details on what's actually caused this collapse of the pathology services in these hospitals. But it is going to affect patients, and obviously they will have to move patients around if they can't get the um, the pathology. If, it's, if, it, if these are urgent cases, they'll have to be moved elsewhere. And we understand that's what's happening. Uh, and Tom, who would likely be behind a cyber attack? What do they have to gain from from causing this disruption? We, exactly, it's it, it's very difficult to know. I mean, it, it, we have seen, according to cybersecurity experts, an increase in sort of hacktivist type groups. They may have a particular political um, leaning, but quite often these are groups of hackers who are simply in it for um, um, a bit of celebrity and a little bit of fame amongst their, uh, amongst their peers. They're just trying to see which systems of vulnerable can be exploited. So sometimes there is really little motivation beyond notoriety behind it. I'm not suggesting that is the case in, in, in this instance. We just don't know what kind of attack um, might have occurred here. Um, but we also know there have been state actors uh, are constantly probing um, critical infrastructure in, uh, in uh, various countries, and the UK is not alone in that. We've had attempted attacks on uh, parliamentary electoral systems, on healthcare systems, and also critical infrastructure like energy, um, national grid providers and things like that, which are obviously more strategically uh, interesting. And, and there is some evidence there are state actors behind that. Um, it's hard to see why a state act would want to interfere with a uh, healthcare system, however, um, and it's just as likely as not that this could be um, uh, an attack that is um, not ideological in, in any way. And the other thing, of course, we've seen an increase in, um, although it has to be slightly in, in recent in recent months, are are the kind of um, attacks which are which are financially motivated, um, where you're where you're looking for ransom uh, payments in return for data. Again, no no indication that that's the case here, but that there are that's another motivation for doing these kind of hacks. But that's often where 
data is, is stolen and, uh, and then held to ransom. By ransomware attacks, um, I don't think a pathology system would be necessarily one that's ripe for that kind of attack. Um, but as I said, we're still waiting for more details on the nature of this particular incident, indeed whether or not it was in fact a cyber attack and not just an, a larger IT systems failure.